this demonstration we're going to look at installing and configuring the Hyper-V role. So what I've done here is I've just attached through to my server. My server currently has Windows Server 2012 installed. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to launch up Server Manager. And what we're going to look for here is we're going to look to see if the Hyper-V role has been installed. So what we're going to do here, just go to the dashboard. Just on the dashboard, all we're going to do here is we're just going to add roles and features. On the add rules and features, all we're going to do is select our next button. Have a look at the installation type, we're going to go for role based or feature based installation. On the select server, we're going to go for LON host 2 and select next. And under the server roles here, we're just making sure that Hyper V definitely isn't installed. So the next thing to do is to actually install Hyper V. So all I'm going to do here is select my Hyper V tick box. Then what we'll do here is we'll add all the features that are required as well for the management. Now the tick box is turned on, next thing to do here is just select the next button. Have a quick look through the features. Fairly happy with everything there, select next. Just on the Hyper-V button here, just have a quick read through the summary. Select our next button again. On the create our virtual switches button here, we just need to select which one we're going to use for the virtual switch. And I'm just going to select the Ethernet 2 network adapter and select next. At this point here, we're not going to allow this server to send and receive live migrations of virtual machines. We're going to do that in a later demo, so we'll select Next. We'll go with the defaults for the default stores for the virtual machines and also for the config files and select Next. And what we'll do at this point here is just select Install. Right, so this is going to do the install. After it's done the install, it will require a reboot. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just pause the video and return back once the installation is complete. That's so the installation is complete, so we'll just close down this little wizard. And the next thing to do here is to just do our server restart. So what we'll do at this point here, restart the server and return back once the restart is complete. And the server's now restarted, so the next thing to do is just verify that the Hyper-V rule was installed. So again, what we'll do is just come into Server Manager. And what we can see is we can see Hyper-V now. All we'll do is we'll just add rules and features. Just go through the wizard and have a quick look and as we can see now Hyper-V is indeed installed. So we'll just cancel this at this point here. All we'll do is come to our start button, click on our little drop down and if we just have a look through here what we can see is we can see we've got Hyper-V Manager new so we'll just click on this button here. This will launch up our Hyper-V Manager software and as we can see we now have LONHOST 2. If we just have a quick look at the Virtual Switch Manager what we can see here is we've got our external network adapter. So that's the end of this demonstration of installing the Hyper-V role. And as you can see, fairly straightforward task. Thank you.